welcome to the session today's topic of the discussion is the characteristics of the transmission line and its equation my name is ajit subhas surinsh i am from the walchand institute of the technology solap so today's topic the of discussion that is a uh, characteristics of the transmission line and its equation so learning objective of this topic is to at the end of the session student will able to derive the different constant of the transmission line that is the characteristics of the transmission line so before proceed further what is the prerequisite that is the knowledge before proceed further is the student should have a knowledge of uh, solving the differential equation and uh, its basic level and electric circuits uh, solutions again it is a basic level so transmission line equation so the before session in the transmission line session name name uh, same as a transmission line equation so in this transmission line equation the two wire parallel wire line is model can be model as a resistance conductance capacitance and inductance so here resistance inductors are distributed over the line and reserve for using the two parallel wire uh, transmission line because it has a simplicity so as you can see the differential length can be modeled as a uh, inductance and uh, along its uh, uh, fractional length of uh, dz so we are considering this line is a transmitting from the z, transmitting in the z direction from the left to right you can consider in this slide so l dz is the differential uh, amount of the inductance and uh, r dz is the differential amount of the resistors so as you know the resistance uh, can be model every conductor has its inbuilt resistance so larger is the cross sectional area smaller is the this uh, element so again this is the capacitance so in the two parallel wire lines as two parallel lines are separated um, by the dielectric materials in some time cases air and other dielectric material so there is a capacitance chances of the capacitance between these two wires so and there is a as there is a no material is a perfect dielectric so there is a leakage between these two wires and it is modeled as a conductance so as you can see this uh, transmission line can be modeled as a inductor resistors capacitance and the conductance so conductance gives uh, reason for using the conductance here is uh, for the simplicity at it can be added is um, easily in the parallel circuits so in the last session we derived that uh, rate of change of the current with respect to uh, <coughs> space with respect to change in the uh, so as the, uh, the line is traveling in the z direction rate of change of di with respect to dz is given by minus v r into minus r plus j omega l and rate of change of the current with respect to time can be given by the voltage multiplied by the conductance plus j omega c so change in the uh, voltage is due to the change in the uh, inductance and the resistance and change in the current is due to the change in the capacitance and the conductance so these are the equations of the transmission line and uh, further derivative of this equation this two equation um, uh, voltage and the current equation it will give us the double differential equation so these are the two double differential equations of uh, equation of the transmission line and after solving this two equation that is d2v by dz square as a function of a v so again this is a constant and in the current equa uh, current equation uh, this is a constant so after solving this two equation differential to this two differential equation uh, especially the voltage equation you will get this equation v as a function of z and as you can see there is a two components in the uh, in this waves first is which is traveling in the left to right that is positive z direction and another component which is traveling in the opposite directions so where this gamma is called as a propagation constant or it is a constant so this gamma propagation constant can be given by the under root r plus j omega l multiplied by j plus j omega c 
so this is a propagation constant and it is again it is a characteristic of the transmission line it depend upon line to line and it is changes to line to, um, um, if the parameter or uh, physical parameter of the transmission line changes one more point in, interesting point you can note that this uh, constant this gamma is the complex quantity it is not a real quantity yes it is interesting to note that it is a complex quantity and this gamma as it is a complex quantity it can be resolved into the two components that is uh, one is the real component and that is one is the imaginary components so real component is normally denoted as alpha and the imaginary component is generated by the beta so gamma can be resolved or gamma can be given by alpha plus j beta so this is about the propagation constant of the transmission line so this propagation constant uh, again this is a propagation constant uh, as you can uh, yes this is alpha when you take a real part of this equation you will get uh, alpha and this alpha is normally called as a attenuation factor or attenuation constant and this beta is called as a phase constant because as wave traveling from one point to another it is get attenuated in the practical transmission line so this is a attenuation factor and this is a phase factor and you can resolve this to uh, uh, complex quantity into the two parts that is one is the attenuation part and the one and one more is the phase part as you can see this alpha and beta real and imaginary par part of the gamma so for that you have to solve this equation under root r plus j omega l uh, g plus j omega c uh, resolve it into the two components real component and the complex component uh, sorry imaginary components so as you can see this uh, this is a diagram actually illustrating the uh, phenomena how the waves is transmitted from one point to another and here it is not intentionally it is deliberately not uh, illustrated the uh, beta parts it is illustrated only the alpha parts so as wave travels from one point to another it is a uh, let's take it here in the z direction as you can say this is an input wave without attenuation and this is the wave which is uh, as we travel from the left to right of in the z direction it is get attenuated it is get decreased because due to alpha attenuation factor the wave is get attenuated and its amplitude becomes less and less as we travel from the one point to from z uh, in the z directions and for the beta the phase shift of the waveform is changes because of the uh, l and c components and here the velocity of the wave uh, is can be given by the phase velocity and it is omega divided by beta where beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda so very interesting question in the practice if you want to example the uh, lossless transmission uh, line so how you can example it think about it write it on the paper so how you can model or approximate model the lossless transmission line so again lossless transmission line so in the lossless transmission line as it can be modeled as a r is equal to 0 and g is equal to 0 g is equal to 0 that means r is equal to infinity in this two cases so r is 0 it is replaced by the short so now this transmission line becomes only the inductors and the capacitors in the lossless transmission line as you can see there is inductor and the capacitors and due to the inductor there is a voltage change and due to the capacitor there is a current change and this is a single element in the transmission line and writing the by a kvl uh, we can write the for inductor if you write the kvl for that inductor you will get this equation and by kcl you will get the current equation so by differentiating that current voltage and current equation you will get the uh, first differential equation of the transmission line and again differentiating that equation you will get the second differential equation of that transmission line so when you solve that differential equation you will get this equation 
So this is the equation. As you can see, there is a no alpha parts. Uh, that is attenuation part. There is only the phase part in this equation. One is the traveling, and another wave is traveling in the opposite direction. Positive is for the uh, traveling from the z to uh, traveling from the traveling from the left to right, and uh, negative is for traveling from the right to left. And this beta can be given by omega under root l c. So this is a propagation constant of the transmission line, lossless transmission line. And phase velocity again given by the omega divided by beta. So beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda. So this is the characteristics impedance. And the characteristics impedance uh, of the transmission line can be calculated from the voltage and current equation. And for the lossless transmission line, the characteristics impedance, after solving this equation, you will get the r up plus j omega under root r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c. So this is a characteristic impedance for the uh, lossy transmission line. And uh, similarly, you can get the characteristic impedance for the lossless trans uh, transmission line. It is a z0 is equal to under root l by c. So input impedance of the lossless transmission line. Suppose this is a line of a tra lossless transmission line. At the input side, there is a sinusoidal and uh, there is a generator impedance. And in this, if you write the equation for the voltage and current, you will get the input impedance. And after solving this equation, you will get this uh, input impedance. So my question to you is that uh, at what length, at what z, z is equal to uh, L, input impedance is equal to characteristics impedance. So in that case, the input is exact uh, output is exact replica of the input. Think about it, write that. So these are the comparisons of the lossless, loss, uh, lossy and the lossless transmission line. And these are some of the few references here.